Hey, it's Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead, and it's almost Sabbath, and Christopher is treating us by making dinner tonight, so he's going to tell you about it. So, it's Christopher from Still Dreaming Homestead. Can't hear a word you're saying. It's Christopher from Still Dreaming Homestead. Tonight, I'm making dinner for Grammy, so what's on the menu tonight is spaghetti. Oh, okay. So, you put a handful of dried diced bell peppers. Okay, better get that in the sauce now so it softens up. Yep, that's a good idea. Those came from last year's garden. When it starts. Oh, man. And so I chopped them and dehydrated them. And now they will soften in this. Here goes. Okay, perfect. Okay, let me stir that in real fast. Good idea. Want to soften up and get the flavor in the spaghetti. Good. What else uh, have you already put in it? I put grated onion. Uh huh. Granulated onion powder. Granulated onion. Okay, you got to speak up, buddy. Granulated onion. I think that says garlic. Garlic, yeah. Parsley. Okay. Basil. All right, I love basil. Italian herb spaghetti sauce. Mm hmm. And we got this tomato sauce in and that. Okay, what else? So. Okay. So let me get that in. So you think that makes a really great difference, huh? Yes, it does. Uh oh, it's starting to boil. Better sure of that. Okay. Haven't really got any in. It's kind of hard. I had to open up the other end and. Oh, that looks like that'll be good. I'm hoping. Mm hmm. Well, I bet when you made the cake the other night by yourself, you did a really excellent job. Can you come tell me if that smells good, Grammy? Uh, sure. Oh, get olives and mushroom. All right, good. Let me smell. It's smelling pretty good. I think it could use a little bit more of this spaghetti one. I'll put some more Italian spaghetti sauce in it. Okay. Oh, open the other end because that's a pretty big pot. There we go. So this is going to be leftover for tomorrow night, too. Yep. Or tomorrow lunch? Mm -hmm. Yep. And he also put in some olives and some of my home canned mushrooms that the boys picked a couple years ago. Yum. So it's smelling really good, huh? Yep. All right, well, while that simmers, I think you better get started on dessert. We are having chocolate pudding and vanilla pudding mixed. Okay. So cool. the recipe is you beat the pudding mix and... How many cups of milk does it call for? All right, let me find how much. Okay, it was determined we need six cups of milk. So... Make sure that's good. Okay. One. And it's not quite all the way full. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. 
Okay, perfect. Okay. I'm putting the milk back up. When you're a long ways, you got to speak up a little bit louder, okay? Now what you're going to do? We got, which flavor should we open first, Billy? Either one. Either one I think is okay. All right, I think. Uh, don't use the scissors for that part. Silly guy. Wow, that was easy to open. Yeah. I, really I always tap it. Yeah, you're doing perfect. We're doing the vanilla first. Okay. So, let's get that up in there. Do it over the sink in case any spills. That's not the sink. <laughs> what? That was definitely not the sink. Right. Okay, good job. Second. Yeah. Well, that looks really chocolatey. Okay, that would be good. Okay, now we need to... Okay, good. Alright, we got that all done. Get up here on the blender. Make sure very carefully that that lid's all the way on. Yeah. Okay, good. And then turn it on low, I think's good. Yeah, you go from low to one. I think you're done. All, right. All you have to do is scrape down the sides. Yeah. Let's see how this looks. Probably chocolatey and delicious. Ooh. Scrape down the sides a little bit where you can see the chocolate. Well, that's going to be tasty. We sure hope. That cake the other day. We didn't get that on video, but I made a little classic yellow cake. Mm-hmm.